Hello and welcome back to Alter Ego. Did I say it here for me again? So, last part, we started our investigation. This game just keeps on ticking. And we're about to go investigate or talk uh, to the doctor. You all like this? Postmortem? Uh, this came for you. An autopsy report? Yeah. Uh, do you want me to leave it in your office, sir? No, thank you. I'll take it right away. Hey! Cause of death of Mr. Talbot, the grave digger. Huh, he bled to death from the wound on his neck. E. It was probably caused by the grasp of sharp claws. The wound is of irregular shape, definitely not caused by an edged tool. No traces of bite either. I don't believe it was done by an animal. Such a wound could be easily faked. Okay. That gave us something new. Ah. Bled to death from a wound on his neck caused by sharp claws. I can't imagine an animal which could do this. Without correct questions, all I have is the phone contact. Extension line 112. And you've actually got this. I refuse to believe that Sir William was resurrected and is now going to seek revenge against everybody. Yet, I cannot ignore certain facts. Those claw marks on the grave digger's neck are a mystery. Okay... That's about it, so... Well, go talk to the doctor. We still need to go to the vicar and ask him about that stuff. Detective Sergeant Briscoe, I need to talk to Dr. Stewart, please. Extension line 112. Yes, right now, if it's possible. Thank you. Good day, Mrs. Stewart. Detective Inspector Briscoe speaking. I'm afraid I can't understand you. I need to talk to your husband. It's urgent. Missing? For how long? I see. Have you reported it to the police? No, unfortunately, I'm working on another case. I had hoped your husband could help me explain several details concerning Sir William. Please, calm down. The body wasn't found. I mean, you have no reason to think that. <laughs> you should stay at home. Maybe he will return. Please, if he does, tell him to call me as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Try not to think about that. I'll inform you of anything we discover. Goodbye. Sir William's personal doctor disappeared. He probably wanted to keep out of the journalist's sight. That makes sense. But I'm sure he wouldn't leave his wife behind. Something is going on, and I have a bad feeling about it. Okay. We can't get into the lock chest. We don't have the keys still. Now let's look if he has anything to say. Claim the record about the missing Would doctor. Would you look at the report from the 12th or 13th of November? Missing person James Stewart. Just a minute, sir. Have to go to him for everything. Good lord. This guy gets some traffic. Yes, we have Mrs. Stewart. Her husband supposedly hasn't returned from a funeral of his old patient. Sir William? Exactly, sir. Perhaps he has not left at all. Thank you, officer. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> that line has gotten so far.
The missing doctor, James Stewart, went to Sir William's burial, but he didn't return home. Maybe he's still somewhere at the cemetery. Maybe I overlooked some other... Yeah, okay. Let's go. A graveyard cemetery. Either or. I'll come back. Okay. And let's go talk to the vicar. Charge for the deliberate theft of the body. I Ask about the missing doctor. You can help me. If that is so, I am at your disposal. I have to know what happened immediately after the funeral. I'm asking specifically about James Stewart, Sir William's personal doctor. I do not know what you wish to hear. Anything? Did you see him leave or talk to anyone? He might have been distressed. Can you recall anything? I am afraid I cannot. Which is rather strange. Just any information. For example, who he talked to or who he sat next to at the funeral. I'm beginning to think that you don't want to tell me. Enough, detective. I cannot bear these insults. That's rather convincing. I'm sure he knows something. But I doubt he is the murderer and ghoul. Okay. Charge for the deliberate you theft know, of the body. Your strange piece has the opposite effect on me. I think you're quite pleased that Sir William is no longer in your way. What? How could you say that? I know you are absolutely against the funeral. That's a lie! Tell me then, why did you insist on cremating the body? I meant well. That is the whole truth. Tell me, what is it like to bury a mass murderer? <laughs> oh. That is none of your business, detective. Your questions insult me. To bury a monster against your will insulted you as well. But things did not turn out as you wished, so you found your own way to deal with the problem. You cannot prove that. You had the motive, the opportunity, and no alibi. I'm sorry, but I have to ask you to stay in the town. Are you arresting me? No, not yet. But I will return soon, and I'd be glad if I won't have to search you. Hmm. And nothing else. Yeah. Ah. I have not been able to get anything for the footprint. Like every single time. Huh. Because I would think it would have been the water pump. Okay, there's got to be something else, right? I mean, I've now exhausted everything. No, it doesn't seem to be anything else. We seem to have really gotten everything. Where am I supposed to get this? Or am I supposed to get a cup? No, because I haven't seen any water source. I mean, a, a water source that I can get at that's still clickable? I'll come back. No. It's still a big fat no. Um. See if we can ask the maid about anything.
Borrow Sir William's I don't dog. Want to delay you, but may I borrow Sir William's dog? Only for a short time, if you don't mind. I'm not sure. I'd have to ask Milady. Oh God. Wait. Stay here. There's no need to bother her with such a detail. But Milady might get angry. She doesn't have to know. Don't you think she has more important things on her mind and needs rest? You're right, sir. Take it. But promise me it won't be for long. You have the word of a gentleman. Okay. I didn't know it would be that easy. But I guess in this part, we're kind of straightforward and everything and not when we're being the other character. So, come on, pup. You'll help me find your master. It was hard work to get you here. Not really. In the leash before, but it doesn't matter now. He doesn't seem to understand. Uh. I can find out right away whether it. Oh, maybe. No. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, it's just a little hard to click. Go, boy. Find your master. No response. The sample is too small and weak. What a pity. I expected more. Choose? I think the time has come to take a closer look. Ah, okay. Oh, a closer look. Okay. I get you. I get you. Closer look. You all the way back. At least we're making decent progress this time around. This game has just kept on chugging. It's gonna be so many parts. Okay, you wanted to inspect it closer, so we shall. I don't know much about it, but it seems like a high-quality material. I think the time has... You did. What? I don't know much about it, but it's... You don't know much about it. It seems to belong. Smooth as a horse's mane. Ideal. Yeah, we haven't really used that at all. Hmm. Human nails. I would have thought that's what we wanted. It's operating. There's no need to bop. Okay. And we still haven't gotten anything for that footprint. So do we need to ask someone about the fabric? Not that. Uh, can we check the chest again? Because we checked it twice. No. Where the hell do I get it for the... The stuff for the plaster? Um, doubt there's anything else we need to talk to her about. Yeah, nope, leave. 
I wonder, could we use the nails on the fu- No, probably not. I'm just trying to grasp, because why is it that we can use no water whatsoever? Might as well. Oh, yeah! Time it just right. Perhaps provoke him first, then strike with the fact that Sir William was alive. This triumph is too worthy to be wasted. But we did that, didn't we? You know, I... What? I know. That's a tell me. I'm tell me. That is to bet the thing you you had. I'm sorry. Are you? No. I need to time this trial. I need to time it? Am I? Do you mean? How you? I'm doing. I came there. What? I will. Could you be? If she. Indeed. Try. I have. This trial. No, I can't. Like the photograph had been. The journalist must have a very good info. Yeah, he says I need to get him agitated, but I thought I did already. Yeah, just the crimes. Just the crime scene. And that's it. Um, uh, I'm lost. Check to see if there's anything for this guy. I wonder, should we use the nails on the maid to try to get answers? Yeah, no. Let's try that. That's the only other thing I can think of. Is to go there, because we have evidence. Ooh, do, 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 do. As the maid said, this is only a home line. No. No. And we can't talk to her about anything else. Uh, yeah. So, after checking, because, yeah, this is... I'm supposed to show the gem to the maid. I didn't think of that, to be quite honest. Yep, I should have used it more. I have something here that I think Lady Miriam should see. Could you take it to her? Indeed, sir. She didn't say anything against that. I hate having to sort of walk through, but sometimes I'm just Gosh, like... is that really a diamond? Yes, and I need it back immediately. It is an important piece of evidence. I need to know whether it is a part of Sir William's ring. I hope I won't lose it on the way. You'd better not. Uh, because I want to keep progress, and plus, uh, it's so annoying to try to use every now single I item on a person. Look around. Oh. Not without a good. Oh. Men's gloves, bills, a notepad. Sir William's personal belongings. Okay. Now I understand why I was not supposed to see them. Lady Miriam explained it clearly. She does not wish anybody to rake over her grandson's private life. Taking something without permission is against my principles, but I suppose the lady wouldn't give it to me anyway. I'll have to manage somehow. Excuse me, sir, what are you doing there? <laughs> Nothing, only looking. Looking at this open drawer, rifling through it. The lady's scared, sir. The diamond really was Sir William's. 
He was buried with it. I thought so. But I had to be sure. I hope you understand. I have a question, too. Naturally. You know, I'm getting scared. Do you think that Sir William is a killing monster? I wouldn't say so. When we find him, he will explain. Can I have the stone back? Here it is. Lady would be glad if it didn't get lost. <laughs> Okay, we have some useful stuff now. We've got the Sir they William's diary. Sir William was selling his property off. He was lucky he had a good purchaser. No wonder he could afford to spend so much money. Fortunately, he recorded everything. So when I need concrete information, I'll know where to search. Interesting. Okay. So now we have a stronger sample for the dog. Uh, it's just sometimes, yeah. I should have used it, but at the same time, it's just a gem, you know? It's just like, well, you know, you did... How was I supposed to know that would distract her and I could get into that cabinet? Because I could have done that at the beginning, but I instead I was supposed to check the draperies, so yeah. I understand, and at the same time, I just feel like it's a little convoluted in logic. I mean, I've gotten used to using items on people, it's just going through the whole thing. Okay. Here, you dog. Go, boy. Find your master. Oh, come on, boy. Don't disappoint me. Show me what you can do. And he's off. Good dog. Quick, follow him. Yes. Okay. Boo 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 doo boo doo boo boo doo boo. Hello and welcome back to Alter Ego. Didn't I say it here for me again? So from that short part. We continue the investigation, and we have the dog, Sir William's dog, looking for him. It seems he has discovered something. <laughs> the lead I was following on Sir William ends in the canal. My God, I hope nobody threw him in there. Okay. The experiment with the dog showed he probably disappeared through the canal, either alone. Oh, with somebody's help. Slowly solving. I should give it back, but it can wait. <laughs> Carter, find some men and search the canal. <laughs> How big of an area, sir? Go upstream and keep your eyes open. The water might have carried the body quite far. Sir, are you saying that you think someone threw Sir William's body into the canal? No! It's possible. I need you to check it for me. Yes, sir.
Somebody took Sir William's body out of the coffin and threw it in the canal. There is no other possible way. I'm not going to crawl through the filth, but Carter surely won't mind. <laughs> yeah. Announce the search of the canal. Now around the cemetery searched. What do you hope to find? Everything seems to lead to the disappearance of Sir William or his body in the canal. Are you saying that someone stole his body and then threw it into the canal? Why? Not a hard question, especially when I know how much you hated him. Be careful, detective. I know nothing about the canal. Even if you found something, my conscience is clear. That's rather convincing. I'm sure he knows something, but I... I do not have to listen to this. If I may, I need some fresh air. Help yourself. I won't prevent you. But don't go any further. I really hope he stays where he is. <laughs> we still got the questioning. <sighs> That's actually kind of amusing. Okay, so we've got him agitated. Can we use the fingernails now? Would you please have yep. a look at this? Look carefully. What is it? Human nails. To be more specific, Sir William's nails, which were found on the inner side of the coffin's cover. I do not understand. I'll explain immediately. A man wakes up in the dark and realizes he is locked in a small space. Let's say in a coffin, turns mad with fright, and clapper claws all over the place. Clapper claws, never heard that term. Then focuses on the cover, the only possible escape. He'd start suffocating, and his madness would escalate so much that he stops feeling pain. And he'd cut himself out through the wood with his bare hands. He frantically claws at the wood, but his nails wouldn't stay in their natural places. Enough! Enough! Please, stop! Sir William was truly... Alive, Father Mulcahy. This is clear evidence that he was buried alive. What are you saying? That could not have happened. Steward, the family doctor, signed the death certificate. Sir, come over here and have a look. Do you have the body? I have a body, sir, but it's not Sir William. What? We took him out and identified him immediately, sir. It's the doctor, sir, James Stewart. We all knew him, sir. So he stayed here after all? I must see him. Uh, go around the cemetery all the way to the bridge, sir. The body got stuck under a branch, otherwise it would have been carried much further. I left one of my men there, sir. Do you need company? No, I think I know where it is. Thank you, Carter. Good job. Detective, I just overheard what your colleague reported to you. I need to talk to you. No. What's the rush? You need to unburden your conscience. Yes, I confess that I was withholding something from you. But I cannot be silent anymore. It'll have to wait. Of course. I will wait here. Just don't get murdered. A suspiciously <laughs> fast death has been known to occur in similar circumstances. You have really comforted me, Detective. <laughs> oh. Ah. His reaction to the nails was credible. 
If he got rid of the body, he would have known Sir William was alive. I'm crossing him off the list. Ah, okay, so one down. Just a lot more to go. Detective Briscoe, and you are? Robin, sir. I've come to see the body. It's over there by the stairs. You know who it is? Yes, his name's James Stewart, a local doctor, for those who could afford him. Well done, Robbins. Where exactly did you find him? Right over there, sir, under the bridge. Poor devil got stuck under this branch. He was carried quite a distance. He might have still been alive. Tried to swim. I'd say he was already dead. Got a nasty wound on the neck. Oh. But you know what's strange? Doesn't seem to have bled. Well, what do you think about this? Something must have sucked him, sir. Oh, sure God. Enough. An interesting theory. I've not chased a vampire before. Stay here for now. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid? Oh, no, sir. Never on duty. But uh, one never knows. Forget it. I can afford no more people. You'll have to manage on your own. Yes, sir. The theory that Sir William has been kidnapped by the family doctor has been disproved. I have to follow a different lead. Okay. Yep. <laughs> he won't tell me anything. He's dead, and his body is totally bereft of blood. Probably a false lead. Okay, so two things were marked out there. He has a deep wound on his neck, but I can't see a single drop of blood. Pretty scary. This means even more paperwork. <laughs> that it? He has a deep wound on his neck. Uh, yeah, okay, try... Nope. Nope. I need him to. Yeah, uh huh. He has a. Okay, let's go talk to the Vicar again. See if he has something different to say. I'll come back when I. Yep. Okay. Do you still wish to tell me something? Yes. You saw something that night, am I correct? No, but I heard something. There was a fight. Someone was screaming. Do you know who it was? Your grave digger? I do not know, really. I have been trying to forget. I was mad with fear. I closed the door and blocked my ears. I prayed out loud to deafen the rampage outside. Is this all you wanted to tell me? No. Earlier on, at the funeral, I saw something. Perhaps it is not important, but Dr. Stewart should ah. have with Lady Miriam. He strongly demanded something, but she obviously refused. Do you know what the subject of the argument was? Did you overhear any words? I had the impression he wanted to look into the coffin, but the lady refused. Yes, it might have been so. Now that I know that Sir William... It must have been so. So you think he wanted to make sure that Sir William is truly dead? Yes, it makes sense. 
That explains why Dr. Stewart did not come home after the funeral. He stayed somewhere near the cemetery and waited until everybody left. His conscience troubled him, and he obviously paid for it. Okay. Oh, do I need to talk to him about anything else? Kind of want to make sure. I don't think so. I think this is supposed to lead us to Lady Miriam. He told me everything. Okay, he told me everything he knows. Head to the manor. Yeah, announce the death of the doctor. Tell Lady Miriam that Mr. Stewart's body was found. I think she'll be familiar with the name. Oh my goodness, isn't it over yet? Far from it. I'll tell her right away. If Off this you go. get that old lady to pick up the phone, then nothing will. I'm guessing this is supposed to represent time passing. <laughs> My lady will call you in a minute. Your news upset her very much. <laughs> I do apologize. Coming. Hello. Yes, madam. I'm listening very carefully. I don't want to violate your privacy, madam, but you surely understand that the circumstances under which your grandson's body disappeared are very serious. Exactly. Mr. Stewart, your family doctor, is dead. When was the last time you saw him? And did you talk to him? I have a witness to your argument. Did he ask you for another examination of Sir William's body? It wasn't nonsense, as you think, Lady Lewis. I found evidence that Sir William, your grandson, still lived. Actually, he was buried alive. Not exactly buried. I'm terribly sorry to have to tell you that. Madam? Lady Lewis? Are you all right? Miss, hurry to your lady. Take her a glass of water or something stronger. Oh my goodness, Lady Miriam! Lady Lewis? Thank God. Are you all right? I sent the maid to you. I'm terribly sorry, but all the evidence seems to make clear what happened that night. When your grandson was buried, I can't explain why your doctor first claimed Sir William was dead. And then it seems changed his mind. But it's a fact that your grandson was not dead. I'll spare you all the details, dear lady, but please consider my advice. I'd like one of my best guards to stay here. He will protect you and intervene if necessary. I understand you don't wish it, but there is a chance Sir William is alive and that he will come back home. No, of course I'm not going to hunt him. Suffered from a terrible shock, and he'll need medical assistance. But at the same time, I can't rule out the possibility he'll be aggressive. Two people died, madam. All right, this is your decision, and I'm inclined to respect it. But I have to warn you. If Sir William returns home, immediately inform the police. Good day. Her reaction was convincing. Pity I had to tell it to her in such a way. But I needed to make sure she has nothing to do with the case. 
Okay, so another suspect off the list. Oh, and this is also Probably a false lead. She has nothing to do with the case. I'm sorry I caused her so much trouble. Okay, so we're I'm crossing her off the list. We've only got two people left on the list, except for those two blank spots. Considering the direction did she mention And I suppose Not without a good reason. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, we did that, but what's next? I mean, we've exhausted everything else. Uh, let's go to the police station again and see if there's anything there. No. Hmm... No, I didn't think so, but I've got to check. Bit by bit, so no, no. unfortunate. The maid was gone, so we can't talk to her anymore. The only place left is a cemetery because I still need water for the plaster. It is driving me up a wall. I'll come. Oh, chain! What's this? What's the dog barking at? If not at the canal, then maybe at this chain. Use the magnifying glass. What's this? I almost overlooked it. Ew, what is that noise? Without that dog, I'd never have noticed it. God. Second cloth Maybe sample. Maybe I could compare it with the one I... When I see them together, they seem to be identical. But such an examination isn't enough. Okay, does that put them together? Both cloth samples. Okay. Now, maybe the microscope? Because now we have two samples. Well, let's look. Identical samples. But that means that whoever was bitten by the grave digger's dog was able to get away and must have fled via the canal. It would be helpful to know where he had his clothes made. If it was Sir William, I'd have to find his tailor. I hope it won't be too difficult. Can we check his book, his journal? What about the tailor's workshop? Yeah. Here it is. The workshop on Wilson Street. Only expensive items. So let's have a look there. Okay, off we go again. To Wilson Street. A respectable tailor's workshop. This is where Sir William's suits were made. Well, I see someone over there. Rubbish bin. I've searched through worse things than rubbish bins before. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. Somebody threw away today's newspaper with the article about the disappearance of Sir William's body. I bet this somebody is now standing at the fountain. <laughs> Calm down. If 
Find out what scared Excuse him. Excuse me, is this Wilson Street? I'm looking for a tailor's shop on Wilson Street. You are standing right in it, sir. Briscoe. Detective Briscoe. Ah, how can I help you, sir? Forgive me, but you look as though you've seen death himself. No. Why? Not at all. I'm just in the shop all day long. Just needed a break, that's all. I can understand that. A man needs to relax. Exactly. To sit down for a while, put one's feet up. Yes, yes. Have a cigarette and maybe read the papers. Yes. Everybody has that right. Do you want to arrest me for having a break? No, of course not. So would you do me a favor and don't ask me such rubbish? Remind him about the newspaper I found article. Your papers. Do you always throw them out like this? Is that a crime? No, but I think the article about Sir William scared you. Are you surprised? Well, I'll tell you something. This morning, I found the shop door open. Nothing was missing, so I forgot it. But then, I read the article and put two and two together. You get it? Do you think it was Sir William? Why would he bother? He's dead. I'm not so sure. Perhaps you just forgot to lock the door. No, no. I locked myself out once, so since then I always have a spare key. I can tell you, because you are from the police. I have a nice hiding place by the fountain, you see? Nobody has touched that key. It doesn't prove anything. Someone might have found the hiding place. Out of the question. Like I said, it must have been him. So I don't feel like laughing at all. I can call my people in here if you want. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. You already have enough trouble. The man is hiding something. He's obviously afraid of something. I bet he didn't tell me ah. half of what he knows. Otherwise, he'd at least consider my proposal. Let's look here. Can we use... Yeah. I'd like to show you something. Where is it? Here. Have a look at this. Are you testing me, sir? Uh, it's Indian silk. Top quality. Very expensive. Both samples? You have my word. So, is it possible they both come from one suit? No. Not from a suit, rather from silk scarves. Now the ladies' scarves are popular, but we are the only tailors that make them for gentlemen too. I've already had several orders, all high society. Can you give me names? Of course not. Unless you ask about a specific person. Confidentiality comes first. And one more thing. You probably can't tell, but one sample has a lighter shade. Here, see? My expert eye tells me that it comes from two different pieces of cloth. Strange. I hadn't noticed. Have you been making something for Sir William Lewis? From the Indian silk? Certainly. But, uh, no details, you understand. Confidentiality. You can say it now, or later at the station. Your choice. All right. All right. He was the first customer who bought the highest quality men's scarf. He was very satisfied with it. He ordered two more. How do you wear such a thing? Around your neck, of course. How you tie it is entirely up to you. Would it be possible to pull it over your nose to cover up half of your face? Of course, but before you ask, I have no idea how Sir William wore it. 
Thank you. That should be sufficient for now. Okay. I don't have any other... Maybe later? Oh boy. What now? I'm actually not too sure. A detective. You'll like ah. this. Happy I came back Patent here. Officer. The patrol who sent for that journalist is back. Do they have him? Uh, they don't, unfortunately. Well, let me know when they do. Well, wouldn't his printer be enough for now? He's in custody. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. What has he done? He's been arrested because he refused to open the door to the detective so the journalist could escape. <laughs> oh! What a fool. Where can I talk to him? Go down the corridor and then turn right. If you don't mind, he's sharing the cell with another suspect. But we're a bit crowded right now. It doesn't matter. So, straight ahead, then right. Thank you. Go through the corridor to the prison cell. <sighs> Interrogate the subject. Detective Briscoe, do you know a man called Nathaniel Forrest? I should. I work for him. I have several questions for you. If you answer them, you can go home. Ask away. Something simple first. Where is he? Who? Oh. Don't play dumb with me. Ah, you mean Nate. Well, I have no idea. Do you know anything at all? I'm just a print worker, sir. What I know you can read in the papers. That's all. Just as you like. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Sometimes I regret that the police stopped using thumbscrews. <laughs> Find out about the source I of information. I want to know about the last issue, the leading article. Who is your source? Detective, I'm just a print worker. I do what I'm told. Do you know that I could send you to prison for two years? The judge wouldn't even blink. Why would you? There are plenty of printers. The papers would be pressed elsewhere. We'll see. You'll be an example. You'll be punished in everyone else's place, especially the ink spiller. That's not fair. Consider it recompense for all the rubbish you've printed. Whatever you say. I don't know nothing, see? A stubborn, A stubborn donkey. donkey. Find out more about the journalist. How long have you been working for the courier? For several years, I guess. So you and Mr. Forrest are friends? guess so. Tell me, what sort of a man is he? He seems to be quite insane. Oh no, he knows exactly what he's doing. Pretty smart. That's why he did what he did. Does he really believe what he has been writing about Sir William? I guess so. Do you talk about it? Yeah, but only technical details. You're not being very helpful. Sorry, Detective. I've told you as much as I know. I think he's just playing with me. He takes me for a fool, but I won't swallow the bait. Discover the secret of the angle of the photograph. Maybe you know I met Mr. Forrest yesterday morning at the cemetery. He was in such a hurry that he forgot his camera. That's nothing unusual. Do you know what surprised me? The photographs in the papers do not match the angle of the camera position. Strange, isn't it? So he took more shots. That's normal. It's a matter of light and so on. No, no, he didn't have that much time. I'm sure he managed one shot at the most. So what's your version of the story? If you're waiting for me to tell you, I don't know. That's not necessary. There's only one possible explanation. He was there first, and then he put on a little show to make a fool out of me. 
That's not how it went. How did it go, then? Isn't it true that the only thing that sells your papers are recent mysterious murders? What would Mr. Forrest be capable of doing just to keep the public's attention? What about killing somebody and then framing Sir William? But when Sir William died, the Golden Age ended. He must have taken the body away to create another filthy story, claiming he was still alive and murdering. You're insane. The gravedigger probably troubled him, so he took care of him. But he saved the best for last. The journalist must have had a trusted accomplice. He would never have done it alone. Your silence proves how faithful you are. It's clear that only you can be the accomplice. Confess. How many murders are you responsible for? Uh, none. That's just rubbish. Oh, my God. I, I haven't killed anybody. It doesn't matter anymore. The prosecution will have a different opinion. Think about it. I think I hit the bullseye. He seems to be pondering something. I think this is a good sign. Hmm. I'm not sure. Do I need to... I don't think I need to use anything. What about the tailor's workshop? Only if... Gotta try everything. Cause Lord knows. Um, no, nothing works. I have nothing to tell him. Something so. Oh. Don't play. Ah, do you? Oh, uh, okay, it's gonna be the same thing. Then what do I need to do? Huh. No. Could you please send someone to the Ah, uh, no. Not what I wanted. Um. Uh, what do I want to do now? I mean, the only other thing is trying to get that plaster made, finally, but. I must add. Yeah, where's that water gonna come from? The magical hole in the sky? There's no need to bother it. The photograph. The jet. Hmm. I mean, there's not much else to do. I'll come. I should give it. Can I... No. There's gotta be something about this, right? No, there's nothing. He has a deep... What you need to do is use the empty case on the water. What the hell? Mixing it is as easy as a child's game. I mean, come on, how was I supposed to know the empty case is what I'm supposed to use it for? You would think you would pour it into the bag and it would be fine. Okay, whatever. We've got what we need now. And we're just about out of time for the part, so I'm happy I did. I know I went a bit quick, but I would not have figured that out. I know I wouldn't have. And we're almost at the end of the part, and I still want to make progress. Okay. I have to wait a few minutes.
There's nothing I can do until I find the matching shoe. Make sure there's nothing else around this area. So can we use that on the doctor's body, maybe? I mean, that would be the most obvious. I'll come back. Yeah. No. I'm sure it wasn't his shoes which left the imprint in front of the church. I'll come back. We've already crossed him off the suspect list, so we don't need to use it on him, right? Oh. Wait. Oh, we actually could. Maybe we need to use it on the guy. That's the only thing you could think of, right? Is that he was there also because you're supposed to, they're supposed to have an accomplice. Because that's what I was thinking was we're going to use this to interrogate him. And that seemed to be the most likely and it's the only part that I hadn't gotten. No. That's actually not it. There's nothing I... Where am I supposed to find the matching shoe? Uh, where the bloody hell? Oh, he's gone. I'm not thirsty now. I wouldn't drink from most fountains, but this one seems to be all right. I'm not... It's love. A respectable... Do we need to use... I'm not thirsty. Because he said the hiding place was there. But, uh, nothing showed. Oh my gosh. I'm assuming it's the same process. It's clean. And voila. I have to wait a few minutes. That means now. We now have two shoe imprints. Compare. The two imprints are from different shoes. Hmm. Maybe I need to do the second? I'm sure it wasn't his shoe. So neither of these. So we have a second shoe imprint that does nothing? It doesn't look like there's anything more in this area. I'm sure it wasn't. Yeah. Maybe... Check around again. No, he's gone. It's gotta be something to do with him, right? Visit the print worker. See if he's ah. changed his mind. He's had enough time for that. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna leave that up to the next part. You shall hear from me in the next part. <laughs>